Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. I want to talk to you about safe blood cholesterol levels. What is a safe and ideal level of blood cholesterol? Well, the medically accepted range is uh, blood cholesterol below 200 milligrams per deciliter. Uh, in some countries, it would be below 5.2 millimoles per liter. But the truth is that people still have heart attacks at 200 milligrams per deciliter. The true ideal range to get your cholesterol into is below 150 milligrams per deciliter, which is also below 3.9 millimoles per liter. So how do we know that? Because in the Framingham Heart Study, which is the longest running heart disease study ever undertaken, started back in the 1950s, medical researchers like Dr. William Costelli have shown us that people that have a blood cholesterol, total blood cholesterol below 150 or below 3.9, millimoles per liter, almost never have a heart attack. So that's the ideal range. And then of course there's the good and the bad cholesterol. The bad cholesterol should be, which is the LDL cholesterol, should be no higher than 72 milligrams per deciliter. So of the 150, which is the total, only 72 of that should be the bad cholesterol. If we're dealing with millimoles per liter, as we would say in Canada, then it should be under 1.8 millimoles per liter of the 3.9 total cholesterol, only 1.8 millimoles per liter should be the LDL cholesterol fraction. So the problem that exists in healthcare today is that unless you have other uh, complicated uh, uh, factors that would increase your risk for heart disease, most medical doctors will allow your cholesterol to creep as high as 200 milligrams per deciliter. Um, or 5.2 millimoles per liter before they will even consider taking action. But as I said, you know, uh, that heart attacks occur at that level and, and, and within that range. So you want it to be much lower. So doctors don't, are not aggressive enough, enough in my opinion. Secondly, when they do act, they usually give you a statin drug to lower your cholesterol rather than featuring the important effects of diet and lifestyle. Now with statin drugs comes the risk of liver damage kidney damage and muscle damage, which can be significant. I mean, in some cases, life-threatening, to be honest with you. So I'm not saying that no one should ever take a statin drug, but I'm saying that the starting point for most people, because in 90% of cases, you can get your cholesterol into the ideal range with diet and lifestyle. So the first step in most cases should be the right dietary and lifestyle program, because only 10% of cases actually require medication as a starting point. And remember that that uh, high cholesterol is a cardinal risk factor for cardiovascular disease. So you do have to get your cholesterol down one way or the other. Uh, cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death. So what I suggest that you do to get this really clarified in terms of what you can do proactively is that you download my cholesterol lowering lifestyle program right from this site to learn the strategies and start acting on them immediately. Now at machinohealth.com you'll see all my published research papers other videos that I've shot, live footage from my live professional seminars, uh, other downloads and resources that I created to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. My review articles and teaching materials come complete with all the scientific references to make sure that you're getting only evidence-based information and you're on solid footing with any health or wellness topic that you may be searching. So be sure to make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.